hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how you can use the world boundary shape 2d for collision shape in gado game engine so let's get started so what i'll do is i'll just create one 2d scene okay i'll just name it as game so this will be the starting scene i'll command s to save it okay i'll save it then i'll just uh, run this i'll select the current scene and uh, yeah so this is fine next what i can do i'll create one new scene first i will uh, click on this plus button yeah sometimes this plus button doesn't work for me i don't know why and i'll just uh, search for character body character body 2d and for this i will just add one sprite 2d and i'll just drag and drop the gado icon which we have okay i'll just zoom on this and here i will just use a collision shape 2d and for this maybe rectangle shape is fine i will just expand this a bit over here as well as over here okay i'll command s to save it yeah character body 2d is fine okay now uh, we will at will attach one script to this just so that i want to show you guys something uh, okay so first uh, it extends a character body 2d then i want to maybe jump so i will just uh, give it some jump force of uh, minus 350 you can change this to whatever you feel like again jump okay and uh, i also want the gravity now there is something called in project project settings if you just search for gravity it is already there i guess compatibility sensors okay i think i have not enabled gravity later after restarting so here you can see we have this i think we don't need this if you go to 2d there is this default gravity available okay make sure you uncheck this sorry about this so just go to 2d and make sure you have enabled the gravity over here now i'll just expand this a bit how to get hold of that gravity so for that firstly i'll just create sorry i'll just create one variable called gravity and we want to get it from our project settings right so you can just type project settings dot uh, get and here we will just type physics then we will just go to 2d and inside that we have this default gravity as you can see over here then uh, we can just override the uh, physics process function so here we have this physics process and here we just write this uh, velocity dot y plus equal to underscore gravity multiplied by delta and here we will just add one input action as well so i'll just go to project project settings i'll search for input actions i'll just name it as jump you can name it whatever you feel like i'll click on add action i'll click on this plus button and i'll just add space bar i'll click on ok now here we just add input dot is action pressed and here i'll just do jump and once it is uh, jumped i'll just increase the velocity velocity dot y uh, equal to jump multiplied by so jump just jump okay and here i can just do move and slide so yeah i think this should be it i'll just do command s i'll go to our game i'll just bring this back i'll just click on this i'll add a character body i'll just run our application and here you can see if i try to move it it is moving okay okay sorry about this just go to character body 2d again uh, no i'll just go to 2d i'll make my character body over here i'll command us to save it i'll go to character body i'll go to our script i'll expand it a bit and uh, there is one more thing which i want to do is here velocity dot delta yeah so this looks okay to me Physics process now what i will okay let's let me run it one more time okay now what i'll do is uh, i'll just go create one more scene i'll go to 2d i'll bring this back i'll click on this plus button then here i'll just add a 
static body 2d then a static body 2d uh, requires a collision shape so i'll just add a collision shape 2d and here i'll i'll add one more collision shape so i'll just do command d2 or control d2 duplicate and here i'll just add a new world boundary shape 2d and for the first so before i assign it to the first one i'll just zoom in on this here you can see we are able to see this arrow now i'll just take this icon and i'll move it down at the very bottom of the screen okay so here our screen ends right so i'll just move it at the very bottom so you are a hopefully you are able to see this blue color line so i'll just move it like this so somewhere over here and then i'll go to collision shape 2d which is first one i'll again assign a world boundary shape okay i'll go at the top and here i'll just uh, select this uh, go to normal and here for y i will just make it as positive one so the arrow is downwards and i'll move it like this i'll command s to save it i'll save it i'll go to our game and suppose uh, now we don't have the static body 2d right i'll run this and here if i try to move it here you can see our character is moving above the screen but i don't want that so this easy way was to use the world boundary and we can just include our static body 2d to this now if i just run this hopefully i won't be able here you can say i'm trying to space press space bar but i'm not able to move it so yeah you can uh, keep your character within your screen uh, with the help of the static body 2d now if you try to fall make your object fall it also won't go beyond like uh, bottom of the screen it won't go away like fall uh, like out of the screen at the bottom because we have a static uh, body 2d at the bottom as well so hopefully you got the point that's it thank you for watching bye